friends, it's Patty Bennett with pattystamps.com. I was having fun with the new Stampin' Up! soda pop tops and I just thought I'd give you a quick tutorial about using those. They come in a great little container. There are two sizes. You can see large ones and small ones here in the same package. You get eight large and eight small in the package. It's a fun new item in the spring catalog from Stampin' Up! And I was making some great little embellishments to put on some thank you cards for my customers. And what I was doing was making the inserts with my digital studio. I just thought that was kind of a fun twist instead of stamping them. Because if you follow my blog, you know that I love my digital studio, our digital program with Stampin' Up! artwork. So I filled an 8.5 by 11 sheet with circles and all different designs. Some of them are thank you and some of them say love and some are for Valentine's Day. And then I use my one inch circle punch to punch them out and add them to one of the bottle caps. So let me show you quickly how I do that. I always like to use my punches upside down because then you can see what you're punching. I'm just taking a peek there to make sure I get it centered. So you just center your image and punch it out. And then this is the one inch is for the larger bottle caps. And what I like to do is use my glue dots and I just press the circle about three or four times to the glue dot so there's a little circle of glue dots on the back and then I place it inside and just push and that secures it and then I like to flatten it. Now let me show you the difference between flattened and unflattened. So this is the way that they look when they come out of the package and you can see that there is a raised edge and if you run them through the Big Shot and flatten them you're going to get that look. So either way is absolutely fine. I think this is probably a little better for mailing so that these ridges don't cut through your envelope and you know get destroyed in the mail. I've shown you this in a previous video but if you missed it let me just show you the way that you're going to flatten them. You take your multi-purpose platform and one of your cutting plates and then you can just put the bottle cap with the ridge side down on your plate and put another plate and run it through. But I've, I found that it was really chewing up my plates. So I still like to use a really thin piece of cardboard and this is from the back of the designer series paper packages. So I cut it to match basically the size of the multi-purpose platform and then I put another plate on top and I run it through my Big Shot and then it will be flattened. Now if you're having any trouble making it get flattened regularly all the way around, you might want to experiment with one or more sheets of the cardstock, I mean the cardboard in your Big Shot. Sometimes it needs a little more, sometimes it needs a little less, maybe you need to open a tab, so it just depends on your Big Shot. Okay, and so with this card, these series of thank you cards here that I was doing, you'll notice that I have stamped the really neat old-fashioned bicycle from the celebration set called Feeling Sentimental and I love that set and I've just stamped it on a three and a quarter, three and three quarter inch square of first edition designer series paper. Show you that real quickly. And that is with Early Espresso. And then with Soft Suede, I love this Gossamer Lace Stamp. And what I did was I stamped it off um, a couple times. I inked it in Soft Suede, stamped it off, and then I just stamped it a couple times like that just to give the paper a little bit of extra dimension and texture. Then I took my sponge dauber with the Early Espresso ink and went around the edges. And then using my snail, just run that around the edge. And this is a three and a half inch square of 
early espresso and I attached that to a 4x4 card. And then the last step, you can see on several of these that I have um, one of these labels and this is a die cut from the Apothecary Accent die. And I sponged around the edges as well as just gave it a little touch of the Gossamer Lace stamp on there to give it a little texture. And I used that to put behind the bottle cap and it just folds over into the inside of the card because I, I couldn't quite fit the whole thing on there but I thought that was kind of a neat look and I sponged around the edges as well. Now we also have this wonderful collage curios set and that is really meant to go with these bottle caps so if you do not want to use my digital studio or you don't have my digital studio this is an absolutely fabulous set to use for either putting in your bottle caps or just making little tags and of course you could also just use an MDS punched out insert and punch it out and just add it in layers on top of something. It doesn't have to go in a bottle cap. But I thought that was kind of a fun idea, something that you might enjoy seeing. And if you'd like to see a video on actually making the My Digital Studio sheets of one inch circles, just leave me a comment and let me know. I can make a video on that. I wasn't sure if that's something that you'd be interested in or not. I hope you have a great day and enjoy using the Stampin' Up! Soda Pop Tops.